This morning, I am very pleased to present Deborah Myers, <clears throat> who does energy balancing. Uh, she gave me a treatment, and I was very much uplifted by it. Um, she has a DVD raffle, which is going to be coming up. And uh, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce Deborah Myers, Energy Balancing. Thank you for having me here. I love sharing what I do because I believe that each and every one of us has the power to take care of ourselves. We just need to know an easy, effortless trick, meaning techniques. So as a healthcare practitioner, I'm an acupressurist and Jinshin Jitsu practitioner. Jinshin Jitsu is an ancient form of Japanese acupressure. I've been in business for 20 years. I've been doing it much longer than that, but in business for 20 years. I actually left my insurance and securities brokerage behind because I had a major car accident. Ma uh, multiple herniated discs, refused surgery, and said, I'm going to figure out how to do this. And within a couple years, I not only hadn't had surgery, I was moving and in comfort. And a lot of what took place was balancing my energy. Yes, I had to go searching for someone who'd give me light, gentle touch, because that's all my body could handle. But as my body had healed, and I was able to do my own work, it helped the healing that much faster. So I love the video you presented, Peter, because it's all about helping our brains, our minds, our whole, every single bit of our bodily function to be in a smoother, more effortless way. As an energy body, you have rivers of energy that run through your body vertically and diagonally. And with that, could we see the clip? Your body is your house. It's important to keep it clean. Vacuum it out daily and dust out the cobwebs. Did you know your body is like an electrical system and it runs on energy? When your system is clean and in balance, you feel great. Daily Clean Your House Flow is like straightening out and organizing your house. It can help you wake up and be focused in the morning, or it can give you an extra boost of energy when you need it. It can help you study and take tests. It can help you stay calm, relaxed, and alert. It can help you do well in sports and other activities. And it can help you rest and sleep deeply. Do the daily clean your house flow as often as you want to throughout the day and it will help you keep your body feeling good and ready for whatever you're doing. Let's go through the poses now. The key to the flow is to gently hold each position for several breaths. Breathe deeply and slowly during each pose. Number one, hold your upper arms by folding your arms across the chest like giving yourself a big hug. Breathe deeply. Bring oxygen in and breathe out the carbon dioxide. Thank you. So I just had that created. Isn't that fun? I just had that created over the last few months because I have a lot of um, clients who happen to be elementary school teachers. And as they take my workshops, they get these aha moments of, wow, I could do that in the classroom with my students. And those that are doing it are finding it amazing as to what is transpiring in that classroom. The kids have more clarity, more focus, more attention. They're better behaved. I just met up with a group of eight-year-olds just a um, few weeks back. And one of the eight-year-olds came up to me afterwards, because first off, they got really excited when I walked in, and I was introduced, they go, you're the one? Because they love it, they're asking for it. They notice the difference when they're not getting to do the daily clean your house flow every day. And this one little boy walks up and says, I don't understand why, but I haven't been sick. 
come to find out from his teacher that he had been ill most of the time in the first six to eight weeks of school. And when he started doing the daily clean your house flow, it was noticeable. So what I want to walk you through is what this daily clean your house flow is. It's recognizing that as you walk around in this body, it needs to flow. Would you agree with that? Yes. Would you also agree that you're walking around in a body that's full of energy? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is energy, right? Mm -hmm. Einstein said e equals mc squared, so we need to play with it. We need to help it. So the first step, just like in the video, is to just gently and with light, gentle touch, if you want to walk along it with me. And you're holding upper arms anywhere from the elbow on up. And just let your fingertips land where they want to land. And when you're here, you're connecting with an energy balance area that's all about breath. It connects with lungs, it connects with diaphragm. It opens up the space. So off and on, all by itself throughout the day, this one could be used to just breathe. Now, wouldn't you find this beneficial for your own self-care? Maybe. And how about for those you work with? Your clients, your patients giving them ideas of how to just be. This is extremely calming. And when we are in a state of calm, we create clarity and focus. Because the body, the mind, the brain has time to function because the body's in a state of calm. Does that make sense? The next step is to sit on your hands. Somewhere near the sits bones, and if that's uncomfortable because you have a shoulder project, by the way, I call things projects instead of problems because projects are more fun to work with and have a beginning and an end. So when you sit on your hands, you're connecting with an energy balance area that's all about vitality. So off and on throughout the day, you can sit on your hands and give yourself that extra oomph, as my grandmother would have said, instead of having that cup of coffee in the middle of the day or whatever else you might need, that extra jolt. Just sit on your hands and try it and see what happens. Now, understandably, if you started every day doing your daily clean your house flow, then these little tricks off and on throughout the day are gonna be that much more effective. This is an energy balance area that connects with every cell of your being, creating vitality throughout. The next step is to keep that left hand there and the right hand comes up to your left shoulder anywhere near where the neck and the shoulder come together. Now again, if you have a shoulder project and that doesn't feel right, you can modify. There's no such thing as perfect. In this system, you don't have to be right because there's no wrong. So if you need to, just hold here. Wherever in that vicinity you're holding, you're connecting with that energy balance area that's all about its tendency to be a garbage collector. Now, it would prefer not being. It would prefer to always be in let go state, never full, always empty. So to never have a trash compactor or a garbage disposal that has anything in it, you can do this off and on throughout the day and then you go to the other side. This um, step, and I show it in the rest of the video, also helps prevent injury. So prior, I'm gonna put my hand on because I'm echoing now. When you do this prior to activity, whether it be gardening, sitting in front of the computer, driving behind the steering wheel of your car, um, exercising, whatever the case may be, if you do this, you help remind your body to let go, to create space so that your body doesn't go into reaction from whatever you're asking your body to do. And doesn't that feel good? So imagine if you did this before, during, and after sitting in front of the computer. How many of you spend time in front of the computer? <laughs> you'll get a lot more done because your body's not going into reaction. I know for myself, if I didn't do that off and on, whether I'm in front of the computer or in front or in my garden, I'd be in trouble. The next step is you're gonna cross your hands and hold opposite inner thighs. So you're gonna hold right in the vicinity above your knee, wherever your fingertips wanna land. Yep, you got it. And when you're there, you're connecting with an energy balance area that's all about digestion. Now it's not just digestion of food for nutrient. Yes, it is for that. So prior to eating, after eating, it's a perfect way to help the body's digestive process. But it also helps digest information, ideas, concepts, new stuff coming your way. Think of the words we use. 
When you have a new idea or a new piece of information you're working on, what do you do with it? You take it in. You chew on it. You taste it. You might even salivate over it. You might decide to spit it out. If you don't spit it out, guess what you get to do? Swallow it, right? And then after we swallow it, we process it, we get to stomach it. We have to do all of that before we either assimilate it or eliminate it. And wouldn't it be good if all those phrases that I just said were always in the positive? How many times have you heard, I, had to I have to stomach that? Instead of that, I get to stomach that. I get to be with that. So this off and on the, throughout the day is awesome. I have a client who has major, um, she's in her 70s plus, and she has major digestive disturbance before she started coming to me. As she does this energy work on a daily basis, she is recognizing that she has less and less disruptive moments. She's happier in her body. And if she's happier in her body, she is more productive and she has more calm and she has clarity and focus because everything's easier. That's the goal, to walk around in a body that's easier. The next step is to palm your calves and all this information is in the handouts I've given you. You're gonna palm your calves, right hand on left, le right hand on right, left on left. But that's kind of tricky if you're sitting at a conference room table, right? Because, by the way, you could do this in the middle of a meeting until you get to here. And then you might have all the people around you go, what is she doing? So instead, you can also just hold the outside of your knees. Okay? So whatever's most comfortable for you, you're either going to palm your calves, you know, hold the outside of your knees. And now you're at an energy balance area that's all about letting go. Elimination. If the inside of your thighs was... Digestion, now this is the eliminating. So anytime you want to let go of something, either on the digestive physical level, that helps, and if you're ready to let go of anything that's in your way, the stuff that's not making things make sense anymore, hold the outside of your knees or palm the calves. As an energy balance area, it will also help the thermostat. It can warm you up, or it can cool you down. So for those women who have hot flashes, it works, okay? Or if you know of anybody. Um, or if you just have moments in time where you just feel out of sorts, like all of a sudden you just feel flushed within, with whatever's happening, hold the outside of your knees, okay? Try it, see what happens. The next step in the daily clean your house flow is to hold the base of your skull. So your right fingertips are on the right side and your left fingertips are on the left. And when you're here, you're connecting with an energy balance area that's all about clarity and focus and consciousness and awareness. So this one all by itself is awesome to just get in touch to feel how you are in your body. On the other end of the spectrum, just like holding the outside of the knees helped with either cooling or warming, this one will, also, will not only help you with being awake and consciously aware. How many times do you have that in your day, by the way? Right? It can also help you rest. So any of you have issues going to sleep, waking up and going back to sleep, or you know anybody in your life like that, this is an awesome energy balance point to connect with, to remind your body to be in that state. And let's recognize that when we, our bodies are in that place, in sleep, we create consciousness. We create clarity and focus. That's when we do a lot of our work. And letting go is in our sleep. And then the next step is to hold the hands folded like so against your sternum. And when you're here, you're connecting with an energy balance area that's all about alignment. It's alignment with higher consciousness, that's why some people would call it prayer. It's alignment of spinal column, putting that into evenness. 
It's also an alignment of all the energy balance in the areas in the body, all the vortexes, getting everything to be in sync, everything play together, nothing being in battle. This is about playtime. This is about helping your bodies be in that experience of feeling good. And then and recognize one more time, it's all about breath. Then the next time, next step, is to cup your thumbs and fingers. Starting with the thumb, doesn't matter which hand. Couple good breaths. By the way, all these steps are just a couple good breaths. That's all it takes. So a couple good breaths on each thumb and finger. And when you're doing this, you're helping to balance all the energy that enters and exits your body. So off and on throughout the day, just doing this is extremely beneficial. How many of our aging clients and friends can do this? It's very easy. And when you're doing this, you're also helping to connect with all emotion. How many times do, does being out of calm take us out of a state of being easy? So when we're doing this, we can connect with all our emotions. We connect with helping get rid of worry fast. So we hold the thumb to let go of worry. Couple good breaths, and these are all pretty important emotions, because emotions are there to give us information, would you agree? But it's when it gets too big and takes our breath away, and doesn't allow us to move and step forward, that all of a sudden it's too much. So we can help let go of the concern, but we get the information from it. And then we let go of worry, F-A-S-T. The F is fear. How many times does fear stop us in our tracks? So instead of being in the fear, you're just in the moment. And you feel safety and security. Then the A is anger or frustration. Now little did the Japanese know centuries ago we'd be holding our middle fingers up at them. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of that, and especially if you're you know, driving down the street and you've got this bozo next to you and we're just all <laughs> You might not be able to grab that middle finger. But instead of, okay. Then, with intention, maybe. And let go of the frustration. Don't let it get embedded. That's what this is all about. Helping our bodies always be in let go state. And then the S is for sadness or grief. Again, a very important emotion. It helps, rec it helps us recognize what we've lost, what we're missing, what maybe needs to be replaced. But instead of having the sadness taking your breath away, and there's many of our clients and friends who are in that state with, yeah? Loss, missing. And that in and of itself takes us out of calm and takes us out of clarity and focus. And then the T is the trying to. Trying too hard, trying too much, trying to do it all. How many of us? That place of efforting that's no longer a verb when it becomes a description of how we are. <clears throat> So when we do this daily clean your house, well, that's it, by the way. And you can do it in six minutes. My full video for the kids is six. Um, you can do it in 10. You can do it in 15. I start every day doing the daily clean your house. Well, I end most days. It's recognizing, just like the video showed, that your body is a house. And it's really good to get rid of the cobwebs and dust bunnies. And when you do that consistently, you create the space, the platform, to be able to have everything be easier and more effortless. Now, everything I've shown you is in your handouts, in the Daily Clean Your House Flow card. And then the handout itself also shows you what you can do for calming. I wanted to add these in particular because I think it's really important for us to recognize that when we're in calm, we have breath, okay? Have you ever felt that, or recognized for yourself and for, with others, that if something was going cattywampus, don't you love that word? If something was going cattywampus, it created shortness of breath? Well, what the body does better than anything else is copy itself. And if it experiences shortness of breath, losing its breath, waiting with bated breath, something taking your breath away. At that moment in time, your body has created a pattern of no breath. So that's why I put these pieces in to help with breath. A couple of them are little reminders from the daily flow. Holding your thumbs connects with breath. 
holding the index finger connects with breath. Why? Because we're helping let go of worry and we're helping let go of fear. And why would you just hold both of them at the same time? Why not? So that helps process. The first step in the daily flow, again, is all about breath. Helps let go. And then a really awesome one is to hold the upper arm like so and the inside of your thigh. It's also in your handout. All of these are just tips. Which one's going to work? The only way you're going to know is to practice, to try it. So I challenge you to just try it and see what transpires. Now we're in the stage of the, the time of year where there happens to be colds and flus. Would you agree? It just, we're hoping it doesn't run rampant. We're hoping that our bodies, our immune systems are strong and can battle it, that it doesn't go into reaction. One of the ways you can really connect beautifully with your immune system, again in your handout, is to make a wing with your fingertips. So you're, I'm doing it left, but you can do it right. Your left fingertips either on, on the left base of the rib cage or your right. And now cross over and hold directly below your collarbone. You are connecting with breath. You're connecting with immune system. It's an energy balance area that's specific to immune system. And what this also will do is relieve cough, relieve dry throat. Really beneficial to help you. One of the best things to open up breath, release tension in neck and shoulders, open up swallowing even, release tension in jaw, is this next one. How many of you get tight jaws? Yeah, okay. So it's pretty simple. Right now, just take your fingertips right underneath your collarbone and just kind of follow right underneath and where your fingertips land, right next to your sternum, to your breastplate, there's a little triangular area, you feel that? Okay, it's kind of a little triangular indentation that's made by the collarbone and the first rib. Doesn't matter which hand, cup that sternum so the thumb is on one side and your index finger and middle finger is on the other. Feel that? Light, gentle touch. Everything's a light, 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 gentle touch. Then with your other hand, hold your fingertips on your tummy directly below your navel with your fingertips in a vertical pattern. Feel that? That releases it. Stand up for a moment if you don't mind. All right, we're going to try something. I don't like doing this for too much length of time because it's not necessarily the best for us. Can you all see me to some extent? So now just, because that one is all about breath, I want to show you how much it works. And even before we start, just take your fingertips here and see how easy it is to move your jaw. How easy is it? Okay? Now, I want you to drop your fingers from your jaw, put your, just kind of lock up your knees a little bit, tighten them up. Doesn't feel good, does it? Hold your fingertips, hold your hands on your tummy, and breathe into your tummy. Can't do it, can you? The breath does not expand in the abdomen because your knees are locked, because the knees are all about energetic breath. Now let your knees go. Hold your hands in your tummy. Breathe. Feel how the difference is? Okay. So here's another one. Now lock your knees again. Cup that sternum. Hold your fingertips on your tummy. And notice how your knees just go. They can't stay locked. You notice that? And now also, while you're doing this, especially for those who have had tight jaw, notice a difference, but gently do this. Drop your jaw and just see how easy it is to move like so. Got it? Notice the difference. So you may have a seat. So now what that is showing you, I hope, is that if this was something that was an issue, a project for you, you could potentially help your bodies let go of that project 
by just doing this off and on throughout the day. And it's not like telling your body, I expect you to get stuck. It's more like telling your body, I love you being in flow, and this is how we're going to do it together. So could you also see that this would be a really good one to teach those around you? Okay? It's a possibility of moving things through. With that in mind, I know all of us have folks in our life who are working with clarity and focus. And just as in the video with, for the school children that I've created, and what I, by the way, have found is awesome and interesting is when I work with people who have, are elderly and working with mind projects, clarity projects, it's the same energetic pattern that I find when I work with children who have learning challenges. It's the same thing. It's just at opposite ends of the age spectrum. And what I, have, what I do know, what I've discovered, is a body doesn't want that to be the case. It wants to be in flow. So this one, the next one, is all about clarity and focus. And it's simply this. You cup the forehead, and you cup the base of the skull. It's that simple. What's this one for again? Clarity. Oh, thank you. You betcha. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> Memory. Well, with that in mind. Good point. Have you ever been at a presentation, at a lecture, and the, the presenter is up there doing this? Uh-huh. At just the moment when he or she is trying to come up with that right word? They're connecting with the energy balance area that's all about memory. When you combine these two points, at the base of the skull, that one's all, remember we did that in the daily flow? That's about consciousness and awareness, and then we connect it with actual mental clarity. Can you see how the body's brain and energy flow is all going to get on the same page? Because it doesn't like being in battle. It likes being in flow, it likes being easy. One of the other ones, and the last one I gave you, is a super one for clarity and focus. And also, by the way, helps with sinus congestion, allergies, headaches, head pressure. Any of those ring true for anybody? Okay, so I'm gonna mirror you. I want your left hand to be on the left side of your neck. I'll put my right hand so you can mirror me, okay? Now, as you're there, just anywhere in that vicinity, imagine that there's a line separating right and left side of your body, right through the middle of the nose. And your right hand is going to be your traveling hand. It's going to start at the top of the head, on the right side of that center line. You could do this as long as you want. We're going to do it quickly so we can get through it. But it starts there, then it goes just into the hairline. I feel good. And then the center of the forehead, still on the right side of the center line. And then inside the eyebrow. Notice where you are. This is directly connecting with sinuses. And then directly under the cheekbone, the way I like doing it, I put my ring finger in that little notch created by the nostril and the cheekbone coming together, my other fingertips are following the curvature of the cheek. Nice, huh? And then into that notch again. That feel good? Yeah. So imagine if you ha did have sinus project going on, that if you did that, it could potentially clear the sinuses. Now again, it will work better and faster if you've created the practice, if you will, of doing something for yourself on a daily basis. Again, I do the daily flow every morning. I prop myself up in the pillows, and I do the daily flow. Or I go down in the hot tub, and I do the daily flow. That's the best. So my time is up. I thank you for allowing me to be here. Also, please know that I love, as you can well tell, doing presentations and teaching. So I have, um, I do wellness in the workplace workshops and wellness care for organizations. So if you know of someone who would like to talk to me about that, and if you wanna see me now, I have um, a speaker um, teacher sheet that I can share with you. All right. Thank you.